Hello there, everyone. Alright, I've been having a bit of fun here with photo mode. I mean, this is actually brilliant just how you can tweak things. I mean, I know this is not like a work of art or anything, but this is just something like I did in, like, say, 60 seconds. So, yeah, I, I can't help but love these things in games. If you're a game developer for a big game and you, by some random chance, stumble upon this, keep playing them in games, please, because I absolutely love seeing them. Even if I'm not really the best to use them, I love seeing what other people do with them. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, let's get going, because I want to see what's going on with Pete in this suit. So, uh, where are we and where are we going? I get the feeling we were told we just needed to do something random for a bit. Folks, you're not going to believe this, but as always here, it is absolute truth. Gooey black monsters have begun popping up around the city. Not the weirdest I thing, repeat, Jonah. Monsters are in our city. Propagating and disseminating to ends unknown. We've heard numerous accounts of missing persons. Oh, hang on. Thanks for coming to my talk. Today, we'll explore how to get sand everywhere. Can't do this right now. All right, uh, let's just get this over with. Consider this a little warm up, eh? Probably a bit of a waste using the L3 R3 as well, but go on, let's just give it a go, see what it's like. I'm curious what happens with this suit afterwards. Because again, I don't know enough about anti venom as far as what the law for it is. I've heard of it, but that's about it. So, um, yeah, I'm just madly curious what uh, Insomniac decide is the end goal. I mean, it'd be brilliant if you could give it to Harry somehow. If he'd want it. Not too bad, that. All gone. And that sand crystal is mine. Hey, that's looking more like Flint. Some kind of dungeon. I only just realised. Lots of empty cells around. You're not here, but are you okay? Marco must have felt so helpless, trapped, with no idea where his daughter was. So I'm guessing he was in the same place that, uh... Oh, hang on. Are we done? Oh no, we've got two more. Two more. Okay. Yeah, it, lo it honestly looks like they're kind of reforming into something. I mean, that one was definitely an image of Flint. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. Um, just how they've kind of uh, evolved. All right, so. I'm actually curious where the other one is, but I don't... Well, I say the other one. Was it one or two? Two, so, mm, okay, maybe not worth going out of the way for, but let's just see where are they. Ah, that could be the problem. We don't seem to have explored this part of the city much. <laughs> and, uh... Is that one? Or is that the flame? Yeah, that... Ooh, we've got to do that as well. I don't forget that. So, uh, yeah, some interesting things to do. Alright. Uh, what is this one? Photo request for in the app, okay? Keep that in mind. And that is something for miles. Okay. Loads of little bits and bobs to do. Right. Have we actually got a a quest to do? Here we go. Go go to Dr. Connor's lab. Dr. Connors? Hello? He's here in my lab. Gotta call Miles and get over there quick. Right, that was Miles. Meet urgent. me in Connor's lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. I wonder how fast you can go two thousand uh, meters. Should be Dr. Connor's lab near Central Park. I've gotta find a way to get through to Harry. He's in there. I know I can reach him. Let's just hope he doesn't hurt Connors. Yeah, these little abilities uh, that I got last time, they're brilliant just for trying to accelerate your jumps. Or, you you know, your traversal time. Alright, let's get in a wind tunnel. It's en route, so we can get this. There's the boss. Gotta save those people from the symbiotes. Stay calm, 
Yeah, these symbiotes are really weird and creepy. They've done a good job on it. Oh, although I wasn't concentrating that much of that. Ow. Sad I wasn't concentrating. <laughs> Alright, uh... I guess we just carry on. By the way, this is where the, the foundation entered. Yeah, this is the foundation. Hmm. Sorry, I just find that quite remarkable that we stumbled across it, if you like. A, a lot of this does make me feel that it's stuff that could have been avoided. Like, if Harry had just thought, you know what, maybe that suit's doing something to Pete. But... I, I don't know, maybe because the suit's been on him, he's not able to think like that. The hive mind and whatnot. Get out of here! I'll take care of them. Oh, hang on, that was a bit not what I meant. Okay, I'm getting shot in multiple different directions. This is not fun. I think we need to use some uh, tech. And some abilities at that. I don't think I've actually got enough uh, enemies now to swing kick. <laughs> I won't leave you. There's an ambulance nearby. Black suit Peter might, but I wouldn't. Oh my god. Thank you. It is always funny though, it's like, okay, let's take you to an ambulance, and it's like you know, this guy might feel worse after a web swing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys. I wouldn't feel that comfortable being swung this high up. And I'm sure there's some sadistic sod out there who's decided to go all the way up to the Empire State Building with someone. If it's possible, anyway. Oh, can't do the uh, booster things. Here we go. And there we are. Pros will take it from here. Bless you, Spider-Man. Well, I'm just glad that you're happy with me. a little bit of a glitchy swing. What's this? I can see something green. Oh, it's a Mysterium. We'll come back for that. Don't get me wrong, all these kind of things I'm enjoying. I want to make sure I keep uh, doing the side missions, but I feel like we're really at the meat of the story now, and I'm like, we'll do stuff like that either in later recordings or I'll do live streams, whatever way. We're really focusing on the story now. Fascinating research blog from a top Morningside professor. Where's the thing? She's calling the creatures we're seeing ah. throughout the city symbiotes because they live symbiotically with their <laughs> folks. Spider UK. Scary. This is real. But keep courage. Check the description for a map of shelters throughout the city and evacuation plans for the elderly and high risk. Spider-Men are out there fighting for us, but we got to keep meeting them halfway. We'll get through this. Together. I don't know if there's been a bit saying how they kind of got um, understanding of the fact that Pete was under the influence of a symbiote. Hey, Miles is here. Cool. Stay inside, everyone. I won't let anything happen to you. Hope I'm not intruding. Don't want to come. Nice to see you, Miles. It's going to be awkward though when you just do your disappearing act only to meet up around the corner. Hey, oh, come on. High five, man. Oh, I love it. Alright, turn invisible. I don't know if the game audio has gone again, a bit like how it has been in previous recordings. Maybe it's just me that's hearing it a bit tinny. 
If it is a bit tinny in the recording, I do apologise. I'm not 100% certain right now. It's a teeny weeny bit hard to backtrack and check. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's an F FSM thing. Gotcha. Hello to you as well. <laughs> well, I wanted to get a candid shot. I want to be a real photojournalist, you know? Document the city as it is. Like this photo captured by Peter Parker. <laughs> that was his first cover photo way back in the day. I want to do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can't believe you have this. First cover. I, I love I it. I actually remember when he took that. Oh. Mr. Jameson, it's Peter Parker. I called about selling you some photos. I See, love my it. Uncle just passed I love it. Mortgage is due and Parker, I didn't ask for your life story. Sorry. I'm sitting outside the bugle finishing my coffee. If you can get here before I'm done, I'll look at your photo. But I'm warning <laughs> you, I drink fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Jameson, I'm biking down Fifth. The traffic. If you want something, you go after it. But <laughs> tell me something. Are you a New Yorker or some slack jawed tourist? Um, <laughs> New Yorker? And when something's in your path, you yell, "Coming through!" Hey, and if something right. blocks you, Lord go yeah, around. Be moving. New Yorkers on, always I find a work. way. Clear, you know why work. people live in this town? Is it the cheap rent? Uh, were they, are they trying to put me off with this? <laughs> I mean, do you think I'm following the traffic rules? I'm just going towards the objective. Oh no, construction ahead. I'll never get it. Eyes on the prize, Parker. Oh, here we go. Can I come through? You're a New Yorker. Tell them you're coming through. Oh, okay. Plug out, halfwit. These are my streets. Uh, hey, halfwit. No, sorry, excuse me, <laughs> scooting by. Uh, Parker, pathetic. Be a man about it. Show them your manhood. Yes, oh, sir. okay. The, the thing's still moving. Almost there. I'll cut through Washington Square Park. Come on, come on, Pete. From killing this coffee, Parker. You better haul ass. Kid's gonna get himself killed. <laughs> Thanks. Stop sounding so timid. Sorry. And stop apologizing. Sorry. I mean, focus on the road. Is that guy getting mugged? Happens all the time, Parker. Act like you live hmm. here. All right. Be a New Yorker. A million people in this city, sweetheart. Spike ain't coming. Hey, leave him alone. What you say, you little toothpick? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't say we haven't got all our abilities, so this is just a punch up. Come on, pal. Oh! I think I might have even pressed the wrong button to dodge then. Yeah, I did. I was trying to hey, kick him. Leave him alone! What'd you say, you little toothpick? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think mean as much as he's just trying to be the early sarcastic version of himself. Yeah, let's just use the... Oh, hello. You're right, big fella. I'm guessing not, but still. You know, I like to think that at this point he could just be getting away with people thinking it's like Capoeira or something, rather than like spider agility. Uh, retrieve the photos. It was fun, even. Um. You okay? I am, because you stopped to help. Thanks. Looks like they roughed up my bike, too. How will I get to the bugle and... Oh, my photos. All but one of them are ruined. Okay. Well, I suppose we can swing. May needs this money. And I need this job. I can do this on foot. I have to. And again, by the way, I will the praise way, Yuri just for 
trying to make Pete sound a little bit younger. Maybe a little too young. He sounds like he's got like a, a squeaky teen voice still, but you can definitely tell it's not the Pete we know. All right, we're just sprinting. <laughs> My cat's really on, wanting attention on. today. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's out here. Cool. Um, come on. I'm sure, they could have got through there. Mr. Jameson, Peter Parker. You're late. I have something you're going to want to put on the front page of the bugle. Cocky little guy, aren't you? <laughs> Just trying to wear my confidence on the outside, like a New Yorker. Parker, this is terrible. Your lighting is flat, your composition is awful. God knows why you're shooting on film like some kind of caveman. And your nose is bleeding. But you're in luck. <laughs> I need a picture of the spider creep for tomorrow's front page. Congratulations! You're officially a bugle photographer. Really? Thank you, sir. <laughs> you won't regret it. I don't think Pete did. Well, maybe we can with JJ, but that's not a thing. Are you okay? Because you've been staring at that for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, can you tell me how to meet this guy, Peter Parker? You don't want his career. <laughs> you want yours. But what I can tell you is that he learned to go after what he wanted. And if one route didn't work, we'll find another way around. Okay, I'll find another way. Give me an action shot I can bring to the bugle. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> this good? Yeah, and when you jump, angle left so I get you silhouette. I, I will. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Ready, set, jump! <laughs> oh, Spidey. See you next time. <laughs> no problem. That was a bit of fun. Look out, turkeys! New York are coming through! <laughs> I don't know where the turkeys came from, though. Alright, I don't know where we're going. Here we go. I'm just glad we got our marker back. Alright, so this has been a long warm-up. 20 minutes for me. So, uh, let's get down there. Let's see what's uh, going on with Connors. Okay. Norman, what are you doing? <laughs> Just deep dive in. Exactly. Stop, Harry! We can help you! Where's the rest of it? Now looks like a good eye, didn't it? That thing. I think we're about to find out. I'm guessing create Venom World. We need to know. Harry's gone. Host and Symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the Symbiote. How? I 
killing the host. Please. Save my boy. I think Dr. Connors should have a word with Norman. I don't think he will, but he should. Maximum Venom. Quite a creepy sight, to be fair. I can't say I'd like waking up to see that on the news. Let alone be a part of it. GG's from Insomniac for creating that, how it looks. The question is, where the hell's Miles? Okay. Got symbiotes over there. Well, I've got symbiotes pretty much everywhere. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. I mean, Connors is probably not wrong as far as Harry is gone, but I would be amazed if there isn't at least a chance to have a word with him, shall we say? It'd be quite grim if it was like, yeah, he's gone completely now. Okay, that was not good. I got hit by a few things in one hit. I like all the different colours on the symbiotes. I know it sounds like I'm after rainbow symbiotes when I say that, but honestly, I just think it's kind of good to differentiate them a little bit. Oh, that was weird. Okay, that's one set down. Those civilians are in trouble. I'm coming. All right, well, let me jump, Pete. Yeah, a bit of a weird mission this. I wasn't expecting to like do save the civilians at this stage, but uh, I'm not against it. It's just a little bit of an odd mission when you're thinking, alright, we're probably going to be facing uh, Venom very shortly. It's as if they wanted to just stall it a little bit, as if to say, yeah, Pete and Miles, they didn't just ignore New York. You know, they did, uh, they did try to actually save people. And I'm kind of ignoring all these red pop-ups, because I'm like, I'm hopefully webbing by that quick that they can't actually do anything about it. Gotta save those people from the symbiotes. I'll take care of these things. Just stay inside the bus. Come, Help! Help! Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow, I got smacked bad then. I saw the heal and I was thinking, nah, I'm in control, I'm in control, but uh, I wasn't. Save those people from the symbiotes. I'll take care of these things. Just stay inside the bus. All right, I don't think we're doing too bad here. <laughs> I love that animation. Just the idea of saying, right, I'm just grabbing him out of there. Oh, I think we got it. Uh, one more. Okay, cool. Where's the next one? 
Was this that intent, surely? Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. It's alright, that Watch yourself out there, initial man. statement can send me. Oh, okay. This is something else. How he said that, I thought he'd been uh, infected. I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you. Somewhere. I'm actually wondering if that is what's happened, and he, he, he's just got enough um, sentient to, sentience to actually maintain some control. Or maybe it's just a very somber Miles. <laughs> I'm just reading into things a bit too much. I mean, I haven't been right about a lot of my theories so far, so... Um, again, Insomniac have done a really good job of not being uh, too readable. Or too predictable. Now for that round, I'm just really bad at making guesses. That is definitely true. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. Good. I was just thinking, I haven't seen that suit before. What happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we, uh... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May, my dad, if they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people, to fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. It's gotta be sad. <laughs> that is definitely a Miles Morales original. <laughs> Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite? I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. <laughs> I was just gonna say they wouldn't let us go and let us not have a swing with that straight away. Oh dear. One's concerning. Ready to get started. Actually, can I uh, pause? <laughs> I feel like I've just left him in a really constipated pose. <laughs> didn't mean that, Miles. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. I didn't think we were going to be sort of having not a lot happen in this one. So yeah, I I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure when the game's going to end at this point, but I'm sure we're nearly there. So, um, thank you very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this weird little part, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again shortly. Bye for now, everyone.